Good morning. You caught me out in my pumpkin patch again this morning. I've been picking some pumpkins. And as I've picked, I've been noticing some plants that are in my pumpkin patch. I'm going to pick one for you and show it to you. There's a plant right there. You might think, oh, that's a pretty plant. But you know what? It's not a pretty plant to me, and it's not a pretty plant to any farmer. In fact, it's a very annoying plant to a farmer because this plant is called a cucklebur. Some people call it a burr for short. And on this plant grows lots and lots of these round balls, and they have sticky points all over them. Can you see all those sticky points? And these sticky points stick to you like that. They get on your clothes, your socks, and your shoestrings especially. And my dog, Cap, when he walks out in cuckleburrs, he doesn't even know it, but these sticky balls are sticking all over to his hair. And he comes back and his hair is just matted with these cuckleburrs and it takes a while to get them off. And you know, He's not the only one that gets cuckleburrs stuck to him. In 1941, a man named George de Mastral, a Swiss engineer, was walking in the woods with his dog. And when they got home, he noticed all these cuckleburrs stuck to his, his clothes as well as the dog's hair. And he spent some time picking, up, picking off all those cuckleburrs. He began to wonder, is there anything useful we could use this cucklebur for? So he put that cucklebur under a microscope and he began to examine it. And in that examination, he learned that there were tiny hooks at the end of each one of those sticky points. And he spent over eight years doing experiments with the tiny hooks. He invented what we call Velcro. The word Velcro is taken from two words, velvet and crochet. And he began to experiment with cloth. He made some cloth with thousands of tiny hooks on it, like the burr. And then he took another strip of cloth and put thousands of tiny loops on it like a hook and eye and then he'd stick those two pieces of cloth together and pull them apart and he is the one that invented velcro you might notice this belt i'm wearing today i wear this when i'm picking pumpkins because it helps protect my back from these heavy pumpkins and it is made with velcro take a look at it isn't that cool one side of the cloth has tiny, tiny loops on it, and the other piece of cloth has tiny, tiny hooks on it, like this. And you can easily close it and open it. Now, when Mr. De Mastral first invented Velcro, it didn't take off real well at first. But then, in the 60s, NASA started using it for the astronauts to hold things in space in zero gravity. They used Velcro and they started putting it on the astronauts' helmets and their spacesuits. And in 1968, a tennis shoe company named Puma decided kids have a lot of trouble tying their shoes, so we'll make tennis shoes with Velcro on it instead of shoestrings. And that made it easy for kids to put their own shoes on. And since then, Velcro has been used for lots of different things, bags, purses, even disposable diapers. Aren't you glad Mr. De Mastral took that walk with his dog way back in 1941 and decided that, hmm, there might be something good from a cucklebur that we could get and not just see it as an annoyance. Cool, huh? So the burr isn't just an annoying plant to get rid of, but it was the start of something wonderful that you and I enjoy today. Velcro. Bye boys and girls.